Right, one of the products in our range that covers all aspects of angling, not just carp fishing, is the de spool. Now we all had, uh, we're all aware, you know, stripping reels can take forever, and especially with big pits now, you can end up spending spending half a day doing your, doing your reel maintenance and clearing everything up. And we've all done it where you, you end up stripping line, wrapping it around your hands, or ver using various other uh, line stripping tools that have been available. But to be honest with you, most of them are um, fairly inefficient, let's say. Anyway, the D-spool solves all those problems. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to open it out of the packet and I'm going to show you how simple it is to use. Right, well, now we've managed to get it out of the packaging. As you can see, it's got a little instruction leaflet here up around it, so I'll just open that up very quickly and show you for you know all those that don't follow my instructions. There you go, so if you don't follow me, you can always read that afterwards. Right, as you can see, it actually looks very much like a big spool off of a reel. Now, to make this work, you're going to need one of these, which is a cordless screwdriver or a cordless drill. Now, I accept that we don't necessarily all carry these when we're fishing. Um, however, I would also say that probably 99% of your reel maintenance you do at home and not on the bank unless you have a sort of minor disaster. But anyway, Right, you attach this into the cordless drill, so it goes in the top there. I'll just quickly spin that up. Okay, very simple. Now, as you can see, you're going to need a line. So here, I've got a spool here, which uh, coincidentally just needs to be stripped at the moment. So I'm going to proceed and do that. Very, very simple. You just get hold of your tag end of the line. So I can't get it off there, okay. You take the tag end of the line. Now you take the top, just twists off of the D-spool. And what you do then, is you lay the line across the cap, you put it back in, you twist it, which actually then just traps the line. Okay, right, now, I'm just going to put those scissors out of the way so I can hold the spool between my legs because what you don't want to do with expensive spools, especially if you're at home on hard floor or concrete, is to drop them on the floor and damage them. Anyway, so now with the drill set on uh, number two speed, I'm going to control the line through my fingers, just start it up slowly like that. And as you can see, You literally just lay the line on the spool. Now, I'm just running it backwards and forwards to help it go on. One of the big advantages with this over the top of normal line stripping tools is that if the line's been bedded into the spool, you know, where you've perhaps caught a lot of fish on it and it, and it, you know, it gets really, really bedded in, or you've got things like old ranger marker knots, they can often stop a, the conventional line strippers working properly and you can end up forever having to stop and manually pull off a few feet and then carry on. With this you can see, this will happily just go along and strip off to your heart's content. Now, one other thing I need to just discuss or show you why this is doing this, it's very clever, it's got a little clutch built into it so that should you get a jam up, see, the clutch kicks in and stops the spool going round. That, you know, may well just, uh, as I say, if, if, if you get jammed up or there's a knot or something, <clears throat> rather than the spool going flying across your living room and into your new TV, uh, <laughs> that will just uh, stop that disaster happening. Anyway, so I've got to the uh, to the end of the line, I need to find my scissors. Um, what have I done with those? Oh, back here. So, I'm going to cut this because I've now emptied the spool. Now, how to discard the line. So, take it out of the drill, put that to one side. Now, all you do is you simply twist the cap off and it just drops 
straight off into your hand. There's all your line strip. Now, if you were trying to do that by pulling it off by hand, that would have taken forever. And, you know, like otherwise, if you'd been doing it with one of the conventional ones, you'd have got, got stopped and start. One thing I would say is that when you have stripped off your line, when you get to the end of it, like, don't throw it away like this. You know, you need to literally put scissors through it, cut it all, and that way that you can make sure that actually when it has been discarded, uh, it can't cause any harm. Or well, better still, if you can, just put it in a fire or something and just uh, just burn it. To uh, never throw mono away that hasn't been cut or burnt. Right, so that's done that. I should put that in my little bin here. Pick that up again, just show you, as I say. Very, very simple. It's uh, probably one of the best investments you'll make because it will last you for years and years and years. Great little tool. I think every angler probably should, uh, either has got one or should have one now.